you guys had to, you guys had to battle through a lot of adversity today, conceding the first goal in the fifth minute, and then just a lot of physicality. What do you have to say about your team? This is uh, the pit's awesome. They're uh, a terrific team. You know, I think Jay's probably the best in the business, and uh, they are to to try to disrupt the way that they play takes so much energy. Um, and it, it was end to end for, for 90 minutes. Second half, I thought we got on top of the game for, for stretches, um, but it was, um, that's, a, uh, that's a fun ACC battle and uh, for, very proud of our guys for, for what we've done in the last week to be on the road at Wake Forest, away midweek, and then to come back and leave absolutely everything on the field. Um, you really have to earn every point in this league. So to get three points is uh, is is um, a very is a reward for a lot of hard work, and I think the guys deserve it tonight. But not to take anything away from Pitt, and uh, that was a uh, that was a prize fight tonight. Coach, how did you deal with um, their high line defensively? I think in the second half you went more direct. Is that kind of something you guys you were telling your guys at halftime? It's important that you connect to pass before going in it. And look, I thought uh, look, Michael Susky. Uh, hasn't played a ton this, this year, he's, he's waited his opportunity and I thought he provided us a little bit of technique and a, a little bit of athleticism out wide today and I thought he was awesome. Um, but it, it, look, the way that we're trying to stop them playing means that when we get broken uh, and they punished us uh, on, a, on a couple of goals, um, they didn't create a ton over the 90 minutes. Now having said that, they could have they could have scored four or five first half and uh, um, so we know in order to try to, to press them that we're going to stretch ourselves at times but the reward is if you can turn them over in those areas you can get to play. They on the other hand are trying to reduce the space by playing a high line as well so it, it ended up that there was uh, it was really like uh, probably watching you play kind of like FIFA and it was end-to-end -end stuff and uh, uh, absolute chaos uh, for long stretches of the game. What can you say about Gavin Wig, first collegiate goal for him tonight? Awesome, right? And a big, uh, a big goal in a big moment. Um, I think that goal right before half time uh, is a, a, probably the turning point in the game um, because they'd got momentum. Um, they were, you know, they're taking their chances first half, and and for us to kind of peg them back and score in that like the last minute, uh, and that was a susky bit of direct, create something out of nothing, uh, and then. Uh, a couple of restart goals that we haven't had as much this year, and uh, but I, th I thought overall, uh, look, Gavin was, you know, we really stretched him uh, against their their front four is terrific. Murkovic is probably the best midfield player in the uh, in, in maybe the country, but certainly in our in our league, he's, he's in the conversation. So we knew that uh, Levesque, uh, Giorgio, Belus would really have to uh, physically put their bodies on the line today, and I thought they did an awesome job. Coach, set pieces played a big part in you guys' win tonight. How were you able to execute so well? Uh, look, and I think we've been poor the last couple of games. When these games are so close, look, uh, this uh, Pitt really handed it to us uh, last week, and uh, uh, Pitt beat them, um, you know, three nothing at their place. This is a really good Pitt team, but they also hurt them on restart. So in these uh, tightly fought games. Uh, it's going to be, you know, there's, there's, there's 22 good players with all the benches as well. Uh, in order, sometimes it comes down to that, that service and, and thankfully we, uh, we scored a couple tonight. Coach, how did you deal with your, their front line? You kind of touched on it once they kind of got past the high press. Um, how did you kind of deal with, again, their front line? And the danger? Well, it's, uh, when you're playing and, and at times it's, you know, look, our, our, their two centre backs were up against our two centre forwards for long stretches with our wing backs pushing so high. What, what happens is when, and they're so good on the ball, such a, and uh, Jay's teams uh, stay true to that, keep playing. And so when they broke the press, their chances to get in. Um, and it's then about, you've really got to cover the yards, your midfield players to get back in support. Your wing backs have got to help out. And, uh, look, our guys, we're, we're, we're going to be uh, physically a bit of a mess. The coach is a bit of a mess. I'm sure the players are a bit of a mess right now going, uh, going into tomorrow and going into next week. But winning makes everything, uh, makes you feel a lot better. Temperature towards the end. How important was it for your players to keep their head? Yeah, once again, look, these are, uh, Jay's got a wonderful program with wonderful players. And uh, we've been on the other side of these. Um, the, 
uh, these are these are difficult games for officials as they are for players and coaches and um, but I don't think there was you know I, I know the quality of Jay uh, Jay's program and so look it's uh, I don't think there was any this was a hard for physical battle and uh, um, today we fortunately got over the line um, and as I said three points in this league is, is massive uh, coach in terms of you falling behind twice was it kind of said by your team that you were able to come back and we're poorly kind of coached way? because the other team scored first um, look I, I, I think I would what I know that our guys can you know can take knocks and get themselves off the mat and go again and, and we've shown that this this year in a number of uh, times. What I'm very proud with today is we got over the line uh, where we hadn't uh, against Wake Forest and we hadn't against Louisville in both teams when both times when we were ahead. This way, I know we got a tough group. Uh, we came back, uh, we fought, and then I'm very proud that look, it's still you know, college side. It's still nervous. We can still do a better job of uh, of managing the game so that the, the ball's not bouncing around our box. But overall, so so very proud of this group of young men. Coach, you've been seeing some late goals this season, but today you got over the line. What are you telling your team about uh, closing out the game? I, look, and it, it helped against this team. It helped them going down a plan. In the last couple of minutes, they went down another guy. That helps, but even still, they're going to play through pressure and they're going to get the ball forward. So. Uh, it's making good decisions and look, attackers want to get forward, want to score goals, uh, Kalukin hits the post. It's making sure that, that you, uh, you find ways to get over the line and, and I thought we did a decent job of managing, but we'll still get better and uh, that will be an important uh, takeaway for us today. Coach, uh, Giorgio on the score sheet, what do you have to say about um, that goal kind of late run into the box, kind of hit it off his shin, but... Yeah, um, look, we talked about that as well on both sides. Now, look, transitional moments, they got in behind us, uh, that midfield battle, and we talked to Giorgio this week, I felt that uh, late runs from him and Matteo, I thought they'd get a chance. Uh, both kind of had those half chances and uh, yeah, he's, look, he's, he's been close. Uh, hopefully this is the first of many.